All right, this video is about how to use the weather stats add-on in Google Sheets. If you haven't installed it yet and you need instructions on that, there's a link in the description of the video. But this video is going to start with you having already installed it. So there will be this icon in your side panel. If you don't see this side panel, uh, you can expand it down in the lower right hand corner. So I can make it go away and I can make it come back. And if you see it, then click on it and you will get this interface right here. So let's start using it. You can get your weather by days or hours. For the first few, we will do days and you need to tell it the dates and the locations. So here I have some dates already. We'll say use uh, what I have highlighted and let's put in some locations here. Let's just, let's just do it for Pittsburgh, all right? Because that's where I live and I feel like it's been a very cold, very snowy winter. We're going to try to verify that. So we will highlight this location. You can use different ones, of course. We'll tell the add-on where it is. So it's in B2 through B8, you see that right here. And then let's go to the weather elements. So I'm trying to make myself feel better about all the snow I shoveled. So we'll say the minimum temperature. So we'll actually take the mean temperature off. And then we want to brag about the conditions right? Feels like because it was so cold. And the amount of snow and the snow depth. So the snow depth is how much accumulated. I'm sure it was super windy, right? So we'll, uh, we'll do wind gust and wind speed. And I think that's enough. You get the point, right? Let's click run and look uh, here. All of the data just fills right in. And I'm somewhat vindicated because it was cold. This isn't Fahrenheit. You can change it to Celsius uh, right here. There was some snow on the ground. It must have snowed right before and after this because I know it was a snowy week. But that's how to use weather stats to look backward. Now let's use it to look forward. So today is January 29th. We will start on the 30th. We'll go through February 4th and we'll just change the range to say we're pointing at those dates. Let's stay in Pittsburgh, keeping it local. And you can do the same elements. And we'll just change wind gust to, to uh, sunset, why not? That'll be, the value for that will be a time. And see those new sunset figures coming in. But this went forward in time. It can go forward 15 days. It can go backward 40 years or more that we'll probably be able to find the data that you're looking for. And now let's look at doing it by the hour. So we will just use one day. You can use more than one day if you want, but we'll just use one. We'll say hours and the date is in cell A21. And the location, you know, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's get a little crazy and say Arizona. Well, that's not a city, is it? Phoenix, I think I know how to spell it. Phoenix, Arizona. Let's try that. So the location is in cell B21. And let's take a look at what it, the output is when it's hourly. You can only do one at a time because it will spill over into more than one column. So we will choose, or in Phoenix, let's, let's look at how much solar radiation there was. There's definitions of these elements on sheetshelp.com. I'll put a link to it. That's the landing page. And that will help to explain why it's zero at night, although you could probably figure that one out. And then Phoenix gets up to a blazing 678 at 1 p.m. And the last thing to talk about here is the plan information. So you can pull in 100 records a day for free. And a record in this case is one row. So it doesn't matter how many elements are in the row. This would be one, two, three, etc. There are additional paid plans if you want. So you see, I chose the one that has 60,000 records per month. The pricing will be at the link in the description. And let me know how the add-on goes for you. And stay dry. I feel like I need some sort of weather pun here. 
hope you have a sunny day tomorrow.